Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna review the Bitcoin. Uh, are we gonna pump or what's going on in the market? I'm gonna use my technical analysis and show you what's going on in the market. My views, my enters, my exits, my positions and etc. So before beginning, I wanna say in, um, about my trading that in trading I'm using a complex approach and minimum four, five or six conditions should to match before entering trade. And all of the professional traders it is doing the same. None of the single accelerator indicator or theory works in solo. Everything works in uh, complex and only complex approach can be used in trading so okay let's go to the charts right now uh, let's start from the daily time frame and the follow five hours one hour and etc etc wait so where we are right now uh, potentially as I said as I mentioned in the previous video which one you can check uh, we are in the fourth wave uh, in the global fourth wave let me break down for you this is one this is two this is three this is four and now fi uh, fifth wave so basically, if we're going to break down this um, fourth wave uh, and check by FIBO, the FIBO, I'm using the one of for uh, one condition is like a FIBO. I'm not using only FIBO. Uh, the wave should to match other, uh, other some indicators, but this is all mostly like kind of uh, classical checking the uh, levels for wave four. So basically the levels for uh, wave four is 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. This is most likely where the price is hits and from that, that point it happens some reversal. So we hit that point, point 0.3, uh, everyone was expected 0 0.5, 0 0.6 and basically we don't know, we can still go down. Uh, I'll show you uh, that one inside of that fourth wave but basically if we're gonna do some reversal from that point it will be everything will be harmonious and um, yeah the fourth wave do much its own like uh, conditions so uh, basically what is going on here uh, 25,200 24,000 was the main kind of um, uh, main, uh, main support and we hit that kind of level 25,600 and from that one we had like really good condition for the longs that this is the uh, extreme candle that the the sector opening was the first and closed was also in the first sector with the high volumes than previous one so basically this is one more condition that we are in the zone of high attention we saw that candle and we do some pump that so everything looks really good but uh, but uh, after the breakdown, this fourth wave, I'm gonna show you why it's still uncertain in the market. Um, but uh, basically, yeah, uh, let's check first the four, uh, where can we hit if that one was like a uh, end of the fourth wave. Uh, let's take a FIBA one more time. Uh, take the zero point for fourth wave, end of the third wave, end of the fourth wave. And 0.6 is the level for the... Uh, uh, fourth uh, fifth wave so basically 32,700 uh, 32,800 like around that zones so let, let's mark that zone yeah this is where can we uh, can we waiting for the four, uh, fifth wave also the fifth wave has one more uh, kind of recognizable signal that in fifth wave should not be more uh, more volumes than uh, than in the third wave so basically if we saw that the we will reach that 32,800 without uh, kind of volumes the uh, it's gonna be lower than the third wave right uh, that also one more con confirmation that this is fifth wave but if we s uh, see some kind of splash of volumes like hire, hiring or something etc etc so we can check that, that uh, we can say that this is not the fifth wave and it's something other so basically right now everything works harmonious on the daily time frame so let's break down the uh, let's go to hourly time frame so on the fifth fifth time frame, fifth hour time frame, I'm checking just the MACD, and MACD looks uh, really also bullish, right? Let's let me check. Yep, the MACD looks really bullish. The, um, we cross that yellow uh, yellow line, and we are basically rising right now, right? But um, so let's break down this fourth wave. Fourth wave has a ABC correction, right? As we say, uh, so we are right now in the C wave. Let me break down. So this is A, this is B, this is C, right? C hit at own levels already. And this is also can be like happy for <laughs> for the bulls. Uh, and C wave must have the five impulsive waves, right? So if we're gonna break down this uh, C wave, that's where it's kind of getting tricky. Uh, let me try to 
show you guys. So basically, uh, this is uh, wave C, right? So it must have the uh, five impulsive waves. So this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and here must be five. So basically, we are in the fourth wave right now by the kind of um, uh, by one uh, oh, one hour time frame, right? Yeah, uh, and uh, what is going on here? The fourth wave, actually, the confirmation for the uh, wave four is the divergence on the volumes and the price. So uh, basically, we can see that the uh, the volumes are dropping, still are dropping, and price is rising, and we are on, on a zone of high attention. Plus, we see some uh, some bearish candles, but that those candles are a bit kind of um, looks. Uh, uncertain because uh, this kind of candle, yeah, it has the much more uh, volumes than previous one, and the candle is uh, sector in the two two, but still two two is kind of uh, uncertain candle. Here one more, right? Again uncertain candle. So basically, we don't know what is going on. The someone is disagreeing with the rising, and someone disagreeing with the. Uh, dropping the price. So basically, uh, the best scenario right now actually to not trade at all and see some more uh, obvious picture and after entering some trades. But uh, basically, yeah, we are in the zone of high attention on the fourth wave and basically we can do some reversal from here. And one more condition, we had the fractal here, which, which one I've been talking about in the previous video, you can check as all as uh, uh, as I said before, uh, and here we have some signal. Here we have no. Here we have some start. Here have some signal. It's breakdown, and we go lower. But we didn't see some stop. We didn't see, ouch. Yeah, we didn't see some stop fractal. Fractal. So basically, uh, we are still in this uh, zone of these fractals, right? And what can we see that we uh, the market give us one more fractal? If we look at the bullish fractal, here is the one. Uh, down here is up and we break down right but we break down it yeah we break down it with this uh, green candle so basically yeah so basically you know, both of the fractals saying that it's bullish and bearish so that's the kind of fourth wave's job to make uh, uncertain in the market and the most manipulative manipulated things happening on the market on the fourth wave so basically it's the it's the moment when the traders kind of Mind, mind divides on two. Someone screaming long, someone screaming short. So basically, the best, uh, the best position is not to trade actually. Uh, but let's see. Yeah, if we're gonna break this fra fractal and it's gonna like break the twenty-eight thousand two hundred, I'm like a totally can say that. Let's see, let's draw. I'll draw for you guys. If we break down this level, we hold on this twenty-eight thousand, and then I can turn some bullish. But I don't think I'm gonna trade because this is fifth wave, and for me it's kind of risky. And only one way I can trade it was like uh, down because I saw the trend went down. So um, the position for scalp was really logical. But right now to open some long positions on the resistance level that looks a little bit uh, tricky for me. I, I'm not gonna trade that. But I got some trigger uh, on a thirty-two thousand around this level. Yep, this level I, I got this short position. And that's like a uh, basic on the global picture, the fourth, uh, the end of the fourth wave. And from there, I'm waiting some new lows. This is my scenario. I don't know I'm right or wrong, but let's check, guys. But uh, basically, right now, I don't, I don't want to trade at all in longs, especially because um, we are on the resistance zone, and the too, too long the resistance is kind of. Uh, uh, looks uh, silly. So uh, basically, let, yeah, let's wait this kind of. Uh, moment right now is really the important moment for Bitcoin. Let's see that it's gonna break it or gonna gonna reject the price. Uh, let's see. So uh, you can follow me on the Twitter as well. All the information I'm gonna share, my positions, my open triggers, and everything, whatever is connected to the market, uh, I posted here like 24 hours. And also I'm sharing some uh, good tips and good some strategies for the tra trading. You can follow me here. I'm always open for you guys. Your opinion really important for me. You can comment uh, below this this video and your like also can helps a lot so follow me on the Twitter subscribe me to the channel as well it helps me grow and have a nice trade and bye bye